Hey Maker users, my name's Sam, and today we're going to go through how to set up and process EFTs using McCorma Maker. This video assumes that you already have configured your GP checkbook for EFT processing, which is essential for the Maker process to go smoothly. The first step is choosing a format for your EFTs in the checkbook setup window. Go to Purchasing, then Setup, McCorma Maker, and Checkbook Setup. Select the checkbook that you would like to use for your EFT payments by clicking on the lookup to the right of Checkbook ID. Keep in mind, McCorma allows you to process both checks and EFTs using the same checkbook, although they are handled differently within the formats themselves, which we'll look at momentarily. The EFT Remittance Options field is the key to setting up your desired EFT format. If you click this arrow, you can see that there are three possibilities. The first is Dynamics GP Report Writer, which only allows you to use GP's Word templates, do not choose this option if you'd like access to McCorma's full library of check formats for your EFTs. Note, in newer GP builds, you cannot process EFTs using McCorma and choose the Print Separate Remittances for Overflows feature in GP for the same checkbook. This feature requires that GP Report Writer be selected for the EFT Remittance option. The second option for EFT Remittances is Checkface slash Overflow Stub. If selected, the overflow format you have configured will be chosen first. If you do not have an overflow format selected, the primary check format will be used instead. And finally, the EFT remittance format allows you to choose from any of McCormick's formats by clicking on this lookup button. Now let's see how the EFT formats work. By clicking on the primary check format link, McCormick's configurator will open to display the selected format. If this format is used to generate EFTs, a few things will happen. First, the Micker line will not appear. Secondly, the signature lines will not have any signatures. Instead, the logical fields EFT non-negotiable and EFT void will print. And finally, EFT non-negotiable will print instead of a check value amount. Once you have chosen your format, the next step is found in the System Options window. At the top of the window, there are two checkboxes. Enable email remittance is a requirement for EFTs so that your remittances can be emailed to vendors. After checking the box, you will want to choose your base folder here. It is important that all users processing EFTs have full read, write, and edit permissions for this folder, or McCorma will not be able to complete the processing. Although not a requirement, if you also want the option to store a local copy of the EFT in PDF form, select Enable PDF Check Copies. For storage purposes, be sure to configure your hierarchy within the Available Fields for Folders and Available Fields for File name. The first field will create subfolders within the base folder. McCorma recommends using the Company ID, followed by the Vendor ID, for greatest ease in identifying EFTs. Available fields for file name will establish the naming convention for files, and McCorma recommends a hierarchy of check number, though it will be named by EFT number, vendor ID, followed by the date. Here is an example of locally stored EFTs named in this manner. After having chosen your desired settings, please save before closing this window. Next, we'll navigate to the McCorma Maker Security Setup window. By default, EFT Security is enabled within Additional Security Options at the top right-hand area of the window. Additionally, McCorma applies all the same security options to EFTs that are available for checks. The only exception to this is when using signatures with the Checkbook or User ID Security model, as signatures do not print on EFT formats. EFTs can also be tracked through the audit log in the same manner as checks. By clicking here, we can see details regarding all processed EFTs. There are also several email settings that must be in place within GP to ensure that vendors will receive EFT remittances. First, from within the GP company email setup window, be sure that the PDF box is checked. Otherwise, McCormick cannot generate EFT files. You also need to have created a remittance message ID in your GP email settings. The EFT file is attached to this message when sent. Finally, from the Vendor Address Maintenance window, you will need to have input the appropriate email address so the system knows where to send your EFT remittances. Now, we are ready to build and process an EFT batch. 
After having entered and posted transactions, open the Build Payment Batch window and create a new batch. Be sure to choose EFT as your payment method here. When all the necessary information has been entered, click Build Batch, then Process. The security model you have configured will be implemented at this point. For the purposes of this video, we have chosen no security, so we can move directly into the Print McCorma Micker Payables Checks window, which has opened automatically. If everything looks correct, click Process once again. This will bring up the standard GP Process Payables Remittance window. The default setting for the process will be Remittance Alignment Form, and you must change it to Remittance Form so that the system is enabled to send emails to all associated vendors. There are two additional options at the bottom of this window. By selecting Print Document, you can print the EFT remittances without sending any emails. If you choose the second option, Send Document and Email, an email will be sent to the appropriate party and the remittance will only print if there is a problem with the particular vendor's email address. Once your settings are correct, choose Process. At this point, the McCormick Micker check printing screen will come up in case printing EFTs is necessary. If printing was not needed, you will be brought back to the Process Payables Remittance window, and an exception report will be generated that gives details about the process. Sent successfully, as you can observe on this report, indicates that the email was successfully sent to the vendor, and a PDF copy is now in the base folder you previously configured in the System Options window. If we find and open the copy, we can see a large void shows across the document. All PDF copies will display this watermark, and this feature cannot be changed. Then, we need to post our EFTs just as you would a check batch. Back on Process Payables Remittance window, click Post, then Process. To complete the process, you will need to generate an EFT file within GP. One final note, just like checks, EFTs are available to view through the check image archive. If we go to Purchasing, Inquiry, and Transaction by Vendor or Document, we can pull up an image of any posted EFT. And that's how to set up and process EFTs using McCorma Micker. We hope this video has been helpful. If you need further instructions on McCorma Micker setup process, or if you need assistance customizing McCorma Micker setup to your needs, please view further resources on our website or contact us directly. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.